Hi, I'm Bill Beto and welcome back to Planet Explorers. And today we are going up to look at <coughs> the northern um the northern possibility for re establishing a colony. I've done a lot of mining in this area. I mean a lot of mining. That's why it's taken a while to get this episode out. Um but we've got a few resources now. Um if we look in the inventory. Got fourteen hundred iron, bit of steel, a lot of copper, silver, gold, aluminium, uh bit of diamonds somewhere we've got zinc, got coal. A little bit of zinc, yeah. So that's taking a while. But we should have enough resources to keep us going for a little while. Let's see what's in here. Hatch door. There you go. We've also gone up a few, got some experience. So we should be able to add a few points on when we get to our destination. And I've made sure that we've got enough stuff to actually create the basic uh, basic colony items. But kind of what we need to do is create the colony, then complete the quest, and then we'll probably get other things that we can add on to the colony. Because at the moment, at pretty horrendous expense, I have bought two turrets for defence. I've got two of these artillery cannon. But they cost about, well, nearly 9,000 credits each. And I've got. 24,000. I can only buy one at a time and the the vendor doesn't sell the um doesn't sell the recipe for actually making them or indeed the recipe for any turret. And without the recipe for a turret, I can't make it. Oh, we don't want to fight the UFO. Let's put you on passive. And let's just avoid the UFO altogether. That's a recipe for dying a lot of times. I do not have the stuff to take on the UFO. And until I've got a colony farm up and running, I still need to be picking up the resources that are just lying around. Oh, didn't get that one. Let's try that again. There we go. Hopefully we'll pass that UFO now. Let's put you back on um let's run along here and go over this strip of land we could swim for it but if we're on land we can pick up um resources whilst we're going a road okay is it no it's not it's just a straight strip of sand let's have a look picking up plants also restocks the nuts that I'm using as food so it serves multiple purposes 
I'll be able to use the stuff I've picked up in the replicator to make useful things, particularly medical type stuff. There's a dungeon. And I'll get the nuts for the food. Pigment for dyes and or dye for pigment even. Flock of birds flying past. Get one of those blue and anemone things. So you need to dye for pigment for various um, things, but largely when you bring a vehicle in, if it's from the workshop, you might well find that it requires pigment. You can't bring it in if you don't have the pigment for the paint job. Yeah, I'm not going to attack you. You're alright. Let's just see if I can actually make pigment. Oh. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I would need more water. Well, I can get more water. That's not a problem. It's one of those things you kind of might as well start off in your inventory at a relatively early point in proceedings. Because at some point you're going to need quite a bit of it. So. We'll go and collect a little bit of water. Since we're handily right beside them. There we go. Not the most exciting thing to do, but I think we could do with getting up to about 200. Then make as many pigment as we can and collect a little bit more water. We'll need salt as well so it doesn't hurt to pick up a bit. When you're collecting water, you need to be stood on the ground, so your feet on the ground. But you need enough water around you to actually be able to dip the jug in the water. Right, let's go to the replicator. Let's max out pigments. Yep, and then just pick a little bit more water. It's not a bad idea to have a have a bit of water on us at least. <coughs> right. Think once we get up to about a hundred, we'll stop. Eighty three, ninety three, hundred and two. There we go. Oh, something's died over here. Just pick up whatever it dropped. And this guy's aggressive, so. But not as aggressive as me. It 
and meat uh, meat is still handy for cooking and you can sell it for credits so it's still worth picking up meat uh, even though at this stage in the game we've got credits we're not trading in meat don't need to eat yet we're up to 23 nuts Another thing is, once you've got a farm and you've got um, colonists working on it, you'll find that you get so much nuts and what's the other thing? Uh, yeah, puree. <coughs> that you never need to eat anything else or pick anything else ever again. Just as part of the farming process, they make so much of that stuff that. Uh, You end up with tons of it. Now, are we getting any closer to the destination? Oh, we're about a third of the way there. So what I'll do is, um, the trip's going to be more of this, so what I'll do is I'll bring you back when we get pretty close to the the target. So we'll see you soon. And we're back. We're getting there. We were the, about ooh, just after I um stopped recording, Ashland decided to attack a UFO and we died horribly. So she's now on passive. And we are approaching. Whoa, what was that? Well, that was a bad move on your part, wasn't it? <coughs> Little crabby thing. So let's put the sword away. Very craggy area. Mm. Looks like the circle is over that rise over there. I wonder if my jetpack will take me across that far. It will. Cool. You kind of wouldn't want to run out of jetpack oomph partway through. I'm a bit low on battery. And at this stage in the game, I've only got the one battery, I think. Right. I've got one spare battery. Oh, it's a script. Ah. Let's see if I picked up any other scripts. For steel shield. What do we need to make batteries? Ah, uh, we need zinc. I can make one more, but that would use up all of my zinc. So this is an area where we could make an outpost. We will probably need to chop down a few trees. We 
we've got quite a bit of wood on us. So I think we'll just try making a colony here and see what happens. Wow. It's a very big tree. It takes a lot of chopping. Come on, chop, chop. That was over 700 wood, so... Um, what time of day is it? 5.18. I'm thinking we'll have something to eat. And we'll build a platform on this, on this slightly raised area here. Now... What should we make it out of? Oh, we've got lots of dirt. Have we got stone? <coughs> durability 250, durability 113. Uh, what's wood? Durability 155. So that's more than the dirt. <coughs> Let's just get rid of that pile of dirt. Because we can't sell it. Let's make our base out of wood. Let's see. Wood. Or at least let's make the base of our base out of wood. If you see what I mean. Let's start off there, bring it out quite a ways, and then down a bit. And then we'll do the same kind of thing there. kind of thing here. Not when really I used quite a bit of wood, but you know. Now, we need to make the colony bits. Let's just check I haven't got one in my inventory first, because that's always embarrassing. Reorder. Nope, we haven't got anything like that there. And I'm pretty sure that's the correct inventory to be looking at, so... Yeah. Okay. So... Let's make an assembly core, but to make an assembly core we will need... Two of those. So let's make two of those. Then we can make that. And we need a power plant. We can make one of those. And then realistically, we will need some dwelling beds. So let's make three of those. Now, I know this, plant, this platform looks huge, but actually it's tiny when it comes to colony buildings. It may even not be big enough. So let's just check how much wood we've got left. 2,700. Let's chop a bit more wood. I quite like the idea of having um, 
the same material for the basic platform. And then we'll need somewhere to put the colourless beds. But I'm not sure where I'm going to put those. I might put them on the same platform or I might put them on a different platform lower down. Honestly. Well, let's build this in stages then. If Ashen's going to get in the way. actually floating but never mind right that has used a lot of our wood so over here gotta stock up on herbs We'll put some beds down, I think. So get out of build mode. And go into inventory. First tab. Ah, need to put the assembly core down first. So, okay, fair enough. I knew that was huge. Right. Gotta stock up on herbs. And the power plant's not small either. platform is currently going to be on the border of what's protected but as we expand the core it'll be well within the protected zone let's just get this chair out of the way chop 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 So for now, let's go to tab two. Put that in there. Lock on there. do with a little bit more space. That's enough for now anyway. Oi! Are you attacking my assembly car? 
Det är vad det är. Det är ju tagna as well. Holy moly. Let's have Ashton on defense. Careful there, I'll protect you. What are you guys on? <coughs> right, let's let's go back in the building mode. Back into our inventory. And put out a couple of defensive turrets. That should at least take care of the local wildlife. Why has it not completed that quest? It's built within the circle. Ah, oh, don't tell me it's not close enough to the centre of the circle. Ah, oh, you gotta build it there. That's a rubbish place, isn't it? That's not a good spot. Hmm. Well, that quest was less than them. Um less than clear. Right. Yes, I know it'll lose 10% durability. Put all these guys up as well. They won't lose durability. That's a bit annoying. But actually, I'm not convinced that's a great spot for a base. If I could have built this here, that would have been okay, but... Um, Oh, 
Why are you attacking those? They're not hostile. you go. Oh, you killed us. Right. Right, so let's go to this the... Looks pretty good. Yeah, let's go to this location. And we didn't ask the Amazon uh, gadget. Which is what you can no doubt hear in the background. Let's sleep. It's too dark to really see what this area is like. There you go, you have to build your colony within the little circle that only appears when you're right in the middle of the target area. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think there's a base location, this leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's just... You need flat land. Okay, so unfortunately, this area is no good. Okay. We'll fast travel back to Lunenburg. Let's see about setting one up next to Lunenburg. It's not ideal. No, I've changed my mind already. What we'll do is we'll head to the one that's southeast of Lunenburg. And we'll see what that has to offer, this one here. So I'll bring you back when we're getting close to, to that point. So we'll see you soon. So after quite a bit more uh, running, we've got to the next circle. So you can see on the main map, I'm well within the quest circle area, well within. But actually on the mini map, the quest circle is tiny, it's over here. So that's a little bit off putting. Let's pick these plants. Okay, this looks like a more plausible site for a... for a base. Because you need um, flattish land for farming. And there's some very flat land there. All right, so let's uh, let's get back to platform building with whatever resources we've got left. And I guess the platform is going to be out of dirt because we ain't got a lot else left to build with. Yeah. Right, so let's put the assembly core 
let's not put the assembly court what I'm thinking is I should put turrets down first but actually what I'll do is I'll just extend this out here a bit now let's go back to building Yeah, let's go with marble. Yeah. Why is it not changing to marble? Let's let the material below. No, it's still on dirt. Let me pick marble. A cube. Marble. Oh, well, we'll keep on building a dip for now. I'm not sure why that's doing that. platform over here but this one will raise up a little bit in fact I remember getting advice that we should raise we should put turrets up a height because then the ground critters can't hit them but they can still shoot down so let's give that a go Raise that column up a bit further. Yep, and leave build mode. And pop it to it on there. Alright. Now then, let's get the Assembly core. Where's that gone? It's there. We'll put that on there. Put the other way on. Why would it not let me put that on there? Ah, possibly because I was in the way. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, Belinda. Congrats on starting your settlement. Now you're ready to recruit colonists to your colony. Once you get your 16 colonists in your settlement, come talk with me. Also, Salmon has more supplies ready for you, so come by sometime. Okay. So we need the power unit, and that's a weird angle for that. Cool. So 16. 
15 colonists. So, let's build a platform over here. Let's tell Ashton to stay out of the way. Come on, Ashton, over here. Right. Stay. Yes, don't move. <coughs> You're running around just doing my head in. Alright. Now let's build some sleeping accommodation underneath this gun. See if we can put the beds down. Four. Eight. make another one. In fact, let's make two more. Uh, bed. There we go. Can we make two? Yes, we can. Back into the build menu. Don't think structural integrity is really a thing in the game, but it just kind of feels wrong to have something quite that unsupported. Back to the inventory. First page, let's reorder that so it's alright. Let's pop you there. And we'll pop you there. T to turn things around. Ah, so we can't put that on without upgrading the core, okay. What do we need to upgrade the assembly core? Come on. We've got iron, we've got copper, we've got plastic, we need three chipsets. Chipsets 500. Can we make those? We can. Okay. Let's upgrade. So I'll be nine minutes fifty five. Now Belinda said that Saman had some more stuff for us, so let's fast travel back to Samari and see what stuff Saman has. It'll take us a while to collect 16 colonists because we'll probably need to do quests for people first before they'll agree to come and join the colony. Like this one here. Ah. No, they'll just join straight away. That's interesting. Ah, 
cool. So actually, you could probably get 16 colonists quite easily. Right, so she wants to have 16 colonists. More parts already. Yes and no. I had the script ready for some more colony parts, but some shady folks came through to our town and stole it. I was hoping you'd go get it back. Of course you were. Why didn't you just gather a party to get it back? There for you, no? We ain't got a sheriff, so it's up to ourselves. I'm going with you since it's partly my fault. Alright, let's go. I hold up in a ruin. I'm guessing it's directly to the northeast. And if we actually head northeast. Now I need to change out my batteries because at the bottom of the screen, bottom left, the battery's gone. So I'm sure I had one in my inventory somewhere. There we go. That's powering my jetpack. We'll have something to eat. So this is where he wants me to go. <coughs> yeah, we'll enter the dungeon. Why not? We'll sort them out, as it were. Or we'll get killed trying. That's the other possibility. Well, Ashland's with me. I can't see Saman. Is he just guiding me here, I guess? Always need to check the corners in these dungeon things. Ah, we need to take Ashland off defensive. Or even off stay. Nothing there to pick up. There's people over there. There's one here. Suffer some damage there. Let's have a bandage. And another bandage. One of those down. That's a few of them down. How's oh, somebody else is coming after us? my inventory, let's check Ashland's inventory. She could do with some more. Yeah, we ought to be able to beat somebody who's only got a spear for a weapon. Let's have something to eat. And some healing. Let's check Ashland's inventory. <coughs> she's 
She's a bit low on these things, so let's give her some more. Because I don't use them. Alright. Ooh. Guy with a gun. Not a very good shot though. There's a container over here. And a wide light script. Let's go over and help Ashley out. Well, she seem to have that under control. Nothing around those corners. Now these ones do lots of damage. Yep. Let's have some healing. Some more healing. Ashland's got him, but we'll give her a hand. Uh, what's up here? Anything? Sometimes things are hiding behind or in amongst these things. I think it's really at higher level dungeons, but... You never know. Nothing there. Nothing there. Let's put Ashlyn on aggressive. Nothing there. Oh, no mob defending this. Oh well. It looks like there is one sort of stuck in it here. Ah, oh, let's just leave. And let's put Ashlyn back on defensive. Because otherwise she kills everything that moves. So we've got the parts good. Yeah. I'll sort them out for you. They're human? Oh yeah, the first wave colonisation efforts brought a lot of different folks to this planet. I guess some folks are just more comfortable being bad eggs. Speaking of which, due to their persistence attacks on our folks, we're short on supplies. If you could help us get some minerals, I'd be glad to trade some scripts with you. What do you say? Okay, what do you need? Alright, we're in dire need of these. I'm heading back to town, so I'll see you there, partner. Okay. you want copper marble now where do I get marble from I've got a feeling yeah that's just dirt but that's marble yeah so I'll just mine out this um, 
Lucky area here. Yeah, I've already collected about 90 marbles, so it shouldn't take too long to get him what he wants. Oh no, no, that's for peace. Hang on, hang on. He wants wood. Oh, right, well, we can get wood easy. Just need to find a tree. Let's go for that big tree over there. These big looped trees can have quite a lot of wood on them. So they can be quite handy for if you need wood urgently. And they don't generally take a long time to chop down. Not even with early tools like copper. Assuming you can chop them at all. Maybe it's this side. Yep. Yeah, you keep that occupied whilst I'm chopping this tree. There we go. Nicely done. So now we have enough wood to keep Sam unhappy. Let's put our spare battery in the recharger. I'll go on top of summon and then uh, I have the resources you're looking for. Cool. Well, you didn't give me a lot there, did you? <coughs> so, what does he want us to do now? Upgrading your colony facilities. Oh, I've already done that. Mm. That's unfortunate, I might have bust that one. I suppose I could always take it down and upgrade it again. What other ones did he give us, scripts wise? Sort that out. Go to the second page. Shield script, battery pack. Oh, you know how to do that. Stool. Light, hydrogen, storage, repair machine, incubator, and a vehicle engine script. Okay. And what's that? A copper sword. So we've learned a load of new stuff. We can build the colony up. That's been quite a lengthy episode, so I think we'll leave that there for now. Uh, we will catch up with you next time in Planet Explorers. Bye for now.